Okay, good morning class. Our subject today is uh, arts. We are now in quarter one, week two. So, the most essential learning competences that we are going to discuss today are the following. In letter A, discusses the concept that art processes, elements, and principles still apply even with the use of new technologies. Letter B, explain the elements and principles applied in commercial art. Letter C, explain the elements and principles applied in comic art. And letter D, applies concept on the steps and procedures in cartoon car character painting. The topics are elements of arts, commercial art, and comic art. Now let us now proceed to our new lesson. But here is our expectation. This module is created for grade 6 learners. It is expected that each learner shall Number 1. Identify the art processes, elements, and principles of arts that use new technologies. Number 2. Identify the use of digital art and its principle applied by elements of design. Number 3. Creates concepts through art processes, elements, and principles using new technologies, especially hardware and software to create a personal or a class logo. And number four, appreciate the use of digital art in our daily life. Here is our the here is the brief introduction of our lesson. Different elements of art like lines, shapes, colors, and textures are used and combined to create wonderful images and paintings using new technologies. Principles of arts like harmony, balance, rhythm, and patterns are also appreciated in digital or commercial art. Art elements and principles are applied even to digital and commercial art created by the use of new technologies such as computers, laptops, tablets, and stylus, etc. In this lesson, we will try to do digital artwork by making a personal logo as a virtual representation using available drawing software. <coughs> Excuse me. Logo design is an important area of graphic art. The logo design you will create will be inspired by the food product and buy online here in the Philippines. In this generation, just one click, you can get what you want by ordering something online based on the item you're looking for. To distinguish the product that you sell, you must have your trademark so that people may know the product you can see. So here are the examples of the logo of your business. So for example, we have here the Filipino cuisine, fresh and tasty calderita, sisig, we have the morgon, we have the lupia, ulalo, pansit malabo, halo halo, sapit sapit, Sinigang nagbangus, leche flat breakfast, at crispy tadyang na maka. So these are the examples of a logo. So according to this, the logo design you will create will be inspired by the food product you can buy online here in the Philippines. So it, in this generation, just one click you can get what you want by ordering something online based on the item you're looking for. So, your logo is to distinguish the product that you sell. You must have your trademark so that people may know the product that you can sell. So, because of this uh, logos, so the buyer can easily, or the buyers or the consumers can easily identify what kind of product are you selling with. Okay? So, for example, here, your logo is Caldereta. So, according to the picture, uh, your logo is uh, Caldereta. So, it means that you are selling Caldereta. This logo has a picture of a CC, which means that the product that you are selling is CC. Okay? That is the examples. Alright, so we have here the elements of arts and the ingredients of arts. Alright. 
the elements of arts are the following. So the first one is line. So what is the meaning of the line? So line, a mark with length and direction. So here are the line types. So we have here the horizontal, vertical, diagonal, parallel, perpendicular, thick and thin lines, dotted and broken lines, curved line, spiral or spiral, parallel, and curly, wavy and curly, zigzag and jump. Alright, these are the kinds of lines. Again, we have the vertical lines, horizontal lines, diagonal lines, zigzag, spiral, wavy, cloud, zigzag, castle, step, up and down, short line, mountain line, jog line, walk around line, dash, dotted line, and loop the loop line. The next elements of art and the ingredients of arts is color. Color consists of hue, intensity, or value. So the best example to this is the color wheel. So in color wheel, we have the full colors and the warm colors. So the colors inside the color wheel are the following. So we have red, orange, uh, red, orange, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, yellow, green, green, blue, green, blue, blue, violet, violet, and red, violet. Number three is value. Value is the lightness or darkness of a color. So as you can see here, this is the color of uh, red. And if we're going to uh, put the color red in the lightness and darkness of its color, so as you can see that it is lightest, lighter, light, and then dark, dark, darker, and darkest, up to the very darkest color. Okay, that is the value, the lightness or darkness of a color. <clears throat> and number four, we have shape. Shape is an enclosed area defined and determined by other art elements. So these are the shapes including circle of a rectangle, square, triangle, star, rhombus, heart, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, semicircle, trapezoid, and parallel. So those are the example of shape. Number five, we have form. A form is an object that appears to be a three-dimensional artwork. So these are the examples of the three-dimensional artwork. Okay. Number six is space. So this space is the distance or area between, around, above, below, or within things. So as you can see here, <coughs> As you can see here that the distance or area so between around above below or between things that the objects that the objects inside the drawing are uh, completing all the space and the space that is talking about here <coughs> is the uh, is the uh, thing that you are using in drawing so, where do you think that you can draw? So, in the uh, any kind of uh, clean paper, right? And then, uh, as you can see here, <coughs> the drawing has a uh, a part of between, around, above, below, or within things. Okay? So that is space. The next one is the perspective. So the the perspective is the illusion of depth. So what can you see in the picture? So how many objects do you see in the picture? So as you can see here, that this uh, animal is a black panther. And this one is an, is 
a falcon. Alright? And then this, there is a... Uh, Uh, this is the three branch the tree branch wherein the panther or the black panther is a city <clears throat> also the falcon and then as you can see here you it form it forms the uh, the face of a woman so here is the eye here are the eyes the nose and then the lips and the ears and then the black panther will serve as the hair of the uh, woman as you can see here so that is what they call the perspective the illusion of death so this is the example <coughs> next is texture the texture the surface quality or feel of an object the softness, roughness, or smoothness. So the texture can be identified by touching. By touching. Yes, of course, because of how how do you know that the object is soft, rough, or smooth? So simply, you have to touch a certain object. So we have kind of texture here. We have woven, bumpy, or lumpy jagged or irregular and bridged that is what the one of the elements of arts and ingredients of arts the texture it can be touched so we have here now so what are the elements of arts number one is line number two is color number three is value number four is shape Number five is form. Number six is space. Number seven, perspective. And number eight, texture. So those are the elements and the gradients of arts. <clears throat> now let us proceed to commercial arts. What are the commercial arts for? The commercial arts, these are the different kinds of art services or products that artists offer for earning money. So as you can see here in the picture, we have the sample of the commercial, the commercial art. So we have here in the first picture is the battery and the kind of product of the battery here is Everett. The second picture is Century Light Tuna, hot and spicy, bumpers and the vitamins which is oxygen ascorbic acid which is the silicon. so these are some examples of commercial arts so we have different kinds of commercial arts number one is advertising arts these are paintings illustrations photographs videos and media created for advertising purposes so from the word advertising comes from a root word advertise which can be commonly or usually seen at the television when you are or whenever you watch a TV so if you are watching a certain show or movie in a television there is a uh, a minute break which is uh, the part of the advertisement is going to show Okay, so for example, we have here some of the example of advert advertisement in the television. Is the outside perfectly? No between cleans outside perfectly. Kulat kano, and then the uh, cherry fur. So there are uh, those uh, bunch of kids here which uh, advertising the vitamins cherry fur to make you grow taller and stronger next number two is the publishing arts publishing arts the, which arts found on book covers magazines newspapers and notebooks so we have here the publishing usually the publishing arts are composed of any reading materials 
especially the uh, these are the arts found in book covers so we have here Florante at Laura here are the examples contemporary Philippine arts from the regions especially the uh, comics okay and then the uh, there are storybooks so any kind of arts found on book covers magazines newspapers and books those are in the one of different kinds of commercial arts which is the publishing arts come from comes from here with the word publish <clears throat> next is number three decorative arts these art services that involves decoration of a house stage or office so in decorative arts we can uh, usually in commonly seen this with the decoration of a house so in your home or inside your house especially if you have your decoration there that is what that is uh, belong to the decorative arts okay so we have here the salas we have here uh, based on the uh, equation uh, sorry uh, based on the uh, celebration so especially in birthday party uh, especially in the uh, celebrating a uh, anniversary all right there is always a, a decoration especially in the school also stage decoration okay. number four is the product packaging design arts so these arts services that involves designing the packaging of different products so I have, we have here some example of the products so the Del Monte Pineapple Juice and then look for the packaging design arts so it talks about the product packaging so these are the products nor chicken broth cubes okay so those are the example of the products and as you can see here that the uh, product packaging design is uh, related to the product that is endorsing with okay so simply if you are uh, endorsing a certain product it should be related to it so the design should be related to it so for example here we have here del monte pineapple juice so that the design here or the, the product is uh, pineapple juice Whenever you drink it, you will uh, taste a pineapple because according to the product packaging design, it is all about pineapple juice. Okay, so that is the product packaging design arts. Okay, so what? So can you enumerate uh, those products that you can see here? Can you identify what kind of products do you see here? What kind of product which is not uh, belong to the uh, packaging design part or packaging product design part? There is one product here which is not belong to the product packaging design part. Try to find out. Next, we have here different kinds. Of, one of the different kinds of commercial arts is in number five, which is the game arts. Art services that involves designing game characters, game settings, game layouts, and everything about it. So as you can see here, those are the games which are uh, which are very familiar here in the Philippines as of now or until now. So those are the uh, games that that is uh, very familiar to you. So we have here the games of uh, League of Legends and the mobile gaming which is the uh, Mobile Legends <coughs> and the uh, COD <coughs> which is the Call of, uh, Call of Duty Mobile. Okay, so these are the game parts. So these are designing the game. 
design in the game characters, the game settings, the game layouts, and everything about the game. And then, who are the people behind the commercial arts? So, the people behind the commercial arts are the graphic artists. So, the graphic artists, they can make drawing, logos, and animations using computers. So, just remember class that the people behind the commercial arts are the graphic artists. So, how about you? Do you want to become a graphic artist someday? So, if you want to be one of the graphic artists someday, the first thing that you should do is to study very well. Okay. So now, let us now proceed to the SLM or the Self Learning Module. So here, so here is the part of our module. <coughs> So these are the activities that you are going to do. So I'm going to read the direction only. So direction number one, read each question carefully. Write your answers in your book. Okay. So we have five questions there. And you have to answer all of the questions that is asking about here. Okay. And... The next one, the next activity that you're going to answer in your module is this. So the direction, answer the following passage using scramble letters. And write your answer to the question answer. So we have here, you have here five, uh, five activities that you're going to answer. So you're going to read the hint or the clue in order for you to answer the scramble letters okay so one two three four and five all right so the next one is the comic art or comics so what are the comics so comics are vi are a visual form of storytelling that pair images with text okay so as you can see here we have, uh, according to the comics, this is the visual form. When you say visual form, we can see visual means uh, it is in the form of seeing. Okay, we can see and then we can read. It is a visual form of storytelling. So there is a story behind the comics. And then besides of story, pay, um, storytelling so those are the pair images with text so it means you say pair images with text it is a combination of drawing with the text with the text in which the uh, character of a certain comics are having the uh, what we call the dialogue or having the conversation okay. the comics is the combination of a drawing and with text all right so thank you so much for listening guys so if you guys enjoy uh, watching this video uh, you can like and subscribe and share it to others again thank you so much for listening